time. So I've, in one of the videos I did, I went over the camera systems that we put in, uh, the difference between the junky eBay camera system and the good camera system. And one of the points that I mentioned is that for my own store, I actually cheaped out and went for the cheapest possible thing. So if you go to buy a camera system from us and you want us to install it for you, the, literally like the, the cheapest model setup that, that we will install for you is what we've installed here in, in my store. And it actually can catch ghosts. So this is, this is one of the selling points that I have for it. And I'm going to demonstrate it right now. <clears throat> now, one of the things that I've talked about is motion detection. So motion detection sets it up so that it's only recording when there's motion so that when there's a particular event that occurs, instead of having to scroll through and figure out when did this thing you know, get stolen or when did this computer get stolen or who took it and having to watch through days and days and hours and hours of footage, you can simply scroll through and only see when somebody moved. And you can set tolerances for that within a GeoVision system. And one of the really, really cool things about the combination of these uh, Heek Vision cameras and the GeoVision system is that the motion detection is so good that it will actually detect when an extraterrestrial being from another dimension has decided to take a motherboard and lose it. So I'm going to go over here to the, um, the screen capture, and we're going to check out what happens in, the, um, in my GeoVision, <clears throat> in the GeoVision system here. So one of the problems I had is that I put a motherboard into a slot for a customer, right? And I put, it said in the notes that I had put that in at about 429 on June 13th, right? So we had given them the estimate and I played through and I fast forwarded through and I saw that at the end of this, somewhere around here, you'll see that there is a computer in that slot. So let's just fast forward a little bit. Eventually, I put that thing in there. Aha, so f I, I, I'm being an idiot. Four o'clock is 1621 around there. So here. So right over here, you see that I put a board in the slot. Now, I fast forwarded and I fast forwarded and I fast forwarded and the, the board is still there. So I'm kind of wondering to myself, like it was there when I left. So right there, so you can see there's a board there. You know, it's not exactly the best since I've zoomed in a lot on this camera footage. So this is zoomed in about, I would say, 5 or 10x or so. So it's pretty blocky. But you can see very clearly that there's a, that there's a board there. That doesn't, and you can see even when the lights go out, that there's still an outline of a board there. So now we're going to go into later at night, and you can see that the board is still there. Now we go into the next morning. We're going to scroll all the way up. And here's the cool thing about motion detection. So it doesn't see anything for 12, 1, or 2, or 3, but it sees something at 3, 12 in the morning. And this is where I decide that I'm going to play and try to find out what it is. Because again, this customer called. They said, I don't want you to fix my motherboard. Can you put it back together? And well, I guess the ghost that lives in my store doesn't like when people don't approve the estimates because that's what he did. The, let's, let's, just, let's, let's view that again. Let's view that again. So here's the board. Now the ghost is about to come by. And he just says, fuck you. Now, keep in mind, uh, we don't live in California. This is New York. There are no earthquakes. There's no rumbling. Um, the, the, the ground is very, very steady here. I don't have ventilation on overnight. I don't have people working here overnight. There's nobody working next door or, any, or any, anything like that. It's very well isolated. And that's what happened. This is in California, so it's not like you have to worry about earthquakes or the ground shaking or anything like that. Uh, that the only explanation that I had for this happening was a ghost. And even our cheapest level camera system is good enough to not only pinpoint the exact moment that the ghost walked in the store, but show him clearly on the screen, knocking over the board so that I could figure out what happened. Because let me, let me tell you something. I spent about 20 minutes this morning looking for that before going into this camera system. And this is one of the things that, that, that's really important. So I originally got this camera system to actually see if, you know, if somebody were to walk in and steal something, would I see that? And what I'm finding is that I'm actually using the system maybe 30 times more often to look for something that simply got lost or that was misplaced rather than for actual theft or for you know, somebody coming in to shoot us or for somebody coming in to rob us. Most of the time, it's actually just something that went missing. And if you have a camera system installed, you'll notice that there are a lot less heart attacks. Like, where did this hard drive go? Or where did this receipt go? Or where did this, you know, oh, the, where did these tax papers from four years ago that I need or else I'm going to get screwed in my audit go? All these little things. Like, if you have good cameras where you can actually zoom and you can actually see something instead of seeing a pixelated pile of crap, it really reduces your stress and it's completely worth whatever amount of money that I paid for it.
that's just what I have to say. But yeah, uh, Geovision and Heek Vision are, you know, they will catch ghosts.